Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading Margaret Wise Brown's Bunny's Noisy Book. I like Margaret Wise Brown. She's done some wonderful stories. love these pictures. When he first woke up in the morning, he didn't open his eyes. Why should he, that little bunny? He raised his ears without opening his eyes. He heard all the little quiet noises starting the morning around him. First, what did he hear? First, nothing. Then there was a sudden fluttering and chirping. Fluttering and chirping. What was that? Birds getting up out of their nests and off the branches and beating their wings. Far off, very far off, he heard a cock-a-doodle-doo. What was that? The little bunny opened his eyes, went up the tunnel to his home, and out to sea. Sound came from the world above. The little bunny heard a bzz, bzz, bzz. What was that? Yes, it was a bumblebee. See? Two bumblebees. Then the little bunny started on a big green leaf and began to make a little noise himself. How was that? Then he stretched, and what kind of noise was that? Look at all the fun friends. Grasshopper, turtle, frog, ladybug, bumblebees, more rabbits, squirrel, a mouse, butterfly. Then he yawned. What kind of a noise was that?
Then he scratched. What kind of a noise was that? Then he sneezed. And what kind of a noise was that? Look what he did. Threw all of the dandelion seeds off the dandelion. And then he went hop, hop over to a big pink clover that was buzzing with bees. All day long, he ate big pink clover. At the end of the day, the sun went down. But could the little bunny hear that? No. but he could hear the little noises of the night beginning around him. The wind began to blow louder and stronger. Branches snapped. Foxes like to eat bunnies. And then there was an old familiar thump as his mother banged her heels on the ground. That meant run for home. The old red fox was taking a stroll. Time for little bunnies to be safe in their hole. And he popped down the rabbit hole just as the fox barked. He wiggled his nose and sniffed the little quick noise of a sniff. How was that? And he jumped into his little bed of leaves, curled in a little fur ball, and tucked his paws under him. Here's the fireflies. And that old red fox slinking away. Then the little bunny sighed his little bunny sigh. His ears fell down and he nodded over sound asleep in his own warm hole in the big quiet night. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure that you like and subscribe and share with your friends. This is a book I found at my local book exchange. I'll link their information below. If you live in the Hampton Roads area, you should check them out. Bye until next time.